everybody, and welcome back to Investment Hunter, where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel, and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Truth Seekers. Um, they've got a number of different links up here in the navigation bar. We're just going to kind of, you know, go through this as we navigate the page. It says here, it's the first community-led uh, security DAO providing a complete DeFi security solution, conflict-free accountability beyond so we got a contact button here who are truth seekers they emerged in the midst of a DeFi security vacuum other kyc and audit firms were littered with fake promises substandard copy and paste analysis and obviously uh, or an obvious you know conflictive interest the naked truth was the job wasn't being done right we believe that we could provide world-class security that can be a cut above for both client and investors alike our entire framework will revolve around our bylaws. So, uh, if we look, you know, these are going to be the bylaws, 100% selective. They're never going to take payment in native tokens, which is good, um, because obviously when you're taking payment in native tokens, then guess what? I mean, you have an invested interest in the project, and, you know, when the project is doing well, then you can just go ahead and dump the tokens, and that wrecks the chart. And so, I mean, that's not good. You should never go ahead and be taking payment in native, native tokens for services. It should always be in BNB or BUSD. That's just my own personal opinion. Core member, uh, KYC, and no third world countries without disclosure. I mean, ultimately, they just want to know who you are. We reserve the right to reject and retract the truth. Seekers KYC audit for actions and becoming. So, so yeah, I think these are all good core principles, you know, that uh, they're going to go ahead and abide by or at least operate from. Uh, they've got uh, AAAS audit as a service. Our team of highly skilled and experienced engineers is going to analyze all on-chain contracts for possible attack vectors, exploitable vulnerabilities, and overall malicious code that can put investors at risk. Uh, we will work closely with each protocol to ensure these issues are resolved and fixed. I think that's good. So, request, review, remedy, and release. I love the four R's. IAAS, Identity as a Service, full-scale identity solution in which Truth Seekers plans to make the new standard. We're going to conduct a KYC that consists of core members that directly interact with the contracts. This is important, you guys. Um, I mean, all too often, you know, I think we see a lot of auditing companies where, you know, maybe one person, you know, gets, uh, gets, KYC'd, and that may not even be the dev. That may not even be the person dealing with the contract. So it's like, well, what's the point? You know, because obviously, you know, one of the most important people to get, you know, uh, to, you know, be identified is the dev. You know, but um, I think that when you look at identity when it comes to crypto and what's been going on in the space, I mean, in the space, ultimately, you know, the whole the whole team, you know, needs to be identified so that if there is anything that takes place. Everybody from the owners to the dev can go ahead and at least be, you know, uh, the identities can be, you know, shown and be in a very transparent way uh, so that things can be reconciled and resolved. Uh, we're going to do an in-depth interview process to ensure that uh, the core members are in fact who they say they are. We're going to verify this with multiple pieces of, go of governance and address identification. We'll then store and protect the information in offline cold storage. I love that. Using encrypted devices and third-party bank vaults. Once the information is processed, it is removed. The security of our client is, or clients is paramount, which is why we're going to protect it with multi-layer levels of authentication. I think more projects need to go ahead and do that. So here they indicate, you know, that there's security support, industry-leading recognition, and in-depth identity verification. Now, as far as the DAO is concerned, we believe in the power of the community, which is why Truth Seekers is going to be the first security DAO. We want Truth Seekers to deliver a unique growth opportunity for its investors. Imagine being an owner of Certic from the start. Man, wouldn't that have been nice? I think because I think I think their valuation was like you know what two or three billion. Uh, Truth Seekers will offer a deflationary token that's going to incentivize you know holding. So be interesting to see what that's going to be as the company grows so do you there'll be an initial public offering at least to see if it works uh, an extremely limited supply of holders uh, will have governance over company matters and er, enjoy unique benefits and profit sharing anything where you're doing profit sharing you know people that are uh, you know have a vested interest in your token i think is always important uh, truth seekers plans to market the likes of which no one has ever seen we will have an army of influencers most of which have already aligned with the company we will also have extensive partnerships with many top 10 protocols 
And that's important because I think, you know, a lot of times I've got a lot of projects that just kind of think they can grow on an island, you know, amongst themselves. And I think the power is in collaboration, the power is in partnerships, you know. So to see that they're going to be doing that, you know, from the get-go is important. Uh, DEXs and launch pads, this DAO is going to grow massively through top-notch security service and the community of dedicated holders. Uh, so about Truth Seekers Investments, you know, so uh, this is the next generation of security and, and investment projects all wrapped in one. So this is going to be maybe investing into, into some other projects. Imagine owning a stake in Certic and Obsidian Council on day one. That would be amazing. Imagine an investment VC that vets projects that come to, to them and picks only the best ones to invest in. Certic alone is now valued at over $1 billion. Well, I was off a little bit. Um, and market cap and uh, with only $21 million in sales last year. Only? What do you mean? Uh, being an audit KYC project opens true seekers to the huge market potential of great seed investments we will have access to first. Uh, and they'll have access to them first because they're going to be a KYC, you know, a project. So people are going to be coming to them to go ahead and get KYC, which means they're going to know about these projects before anybody else does. Uh, the fact that we will see KYC in these projects before anyone else is a massive advantage we plan to use. True Seeker Investments, uh, we're going to be investing in, in validator nodes uh, that are usually too, yeah, those are super expensive uh, for normal investors to buy. Most validator nodes cost from fifteen dollars to $150,000 per node. Yeah, no, um, I don't know anybody that, that kind of dough to be investing into, uh, into these nodes. We plan to buy AVAX, FTM, uh, DAG, and ETH uh, validator nodes. For example, ETH needs 32 ETH per node. Yeah, it's super duper expensive. We plan to take these profits from these nodes and other investments that average investors can't make and buy back truth tokens with 80% of the profits. That's a pretty good uh, method. Uh, how truth token works, you know, so explain, you know, all of that, you know, here. Uh, it's a DeFi re revolution, taking the best, you know, from successful projects and making it better. There's going to be no buy tax, but there is a sell tax of 7.5%. 5% will be I sent to a burn wallet. Now, I do believe that at the end of maybe their first year, they're going to try to go ahead and get to a 0% sell tax as well. Um, but 5% uh, is going to be sent to a burn wallet. 25 is going to be sent to True Seekers Treasury. Um, Why well, have a sell tax? That's because True Seekers wants only long term holders. After 12 months, the 7.5% sell tax is going to be lowered to 0 and 2.5%. Thus, incentivizing long term thinking and quality investors in that time of period or period of time, we believe True Seekers will have burned a substantial amount of tokens and, you know, with this tax and will be generating enough revenue to buy back substantial amounts of truth tokens each month. But, you know, understand that even when I say that, we're talking about pretty much being a year in, you know, uh, to it. So I keep that in mind. So deflationary economics, uh, they're going to use 80% of all net profits after expenses to buy back and burn truth token. Uh, truth tokens will have many mechanics in place to make it deflationary on day one. Love it. Truth token community driven utility. And uh, there's going to be an analytics arm to this. There's going to obviously be a DAO. Uh, so you got community voting and truth token store of value as well. So looking at the team, we got uh, we got a, we have a docs team or partially docs team because we can't see who this is, but we can see these two guys. So we got some uh, LinkedIn links and uh, names and uh, you know, emails apparently as well. So they got to contact this uh, area here that you can utilize, but that's it, you know, for Truth Seekers. Uh, they don't have a Telegram yet that I was able to find. Um, they do have a Discord. Um, you know, they got some AMAs that are going to be coming, you know, as well. So private sale that are going to likely hold in the next few weeks. Uh, more than likely to be pretty exclusive. Not sure this will be public. And uh, they've got a public sale estimated, you know, for August sale, but that could change. Beyond that, that's what I got for you in terms of truth seekers. Um, uh, for me personally, I see a lot of good signals you know, with this one. I think, um, you know, uh, everything they say, it sounds good. It sounds like it's needed, you know, for the space. The question is, you know, will they actually make good on everything they say they're going to do? You know, uh, do they have the talent to go ahead and really make this uh, reality? Um, but, yeah, I think that uh, me personally, if, if they can go ahead and, you know, really uh, do everything they say they're going to do in terms of just sticking with their bylaws and, you know, all the partnerships, I think this it has the potential to go ahead and do some good things. So, you know, we'll have to go ahead and see how it, how it operates in the future. But this is one for me personally that I'll be taking a look at. So, all right, guys, uh, that's it for me on this one. Um, if you guys like the content on the channel, you guys are learning anything, um, like the exposure to new projects that you may not have been aware of, you know, had it not been shown on this channel first. Uh, 
um, you know, by all means, please subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, you know, that's how we're going to go ahead and be able to grow this channel so that more people can see the content that's being released on the channel. And I can't go ahead and do that without you. So thank you guys so much. I'll leave the links in the description below. And you guys enjoy the day.